and welcome to this episode of the Virtuous Woman Show. My name is Sheila Juma and we're so happy to be hosting you this very wonderful Sunday evening. We hope you've gone to church. We hope you've had a great week from wherever you're watching us from. Please do let us know. We'd love to hear where you're watching us from. Are you in Nairobi? Are you in Nakuru? Are you in Mombasa? We'd love to hear all the wonderful, beautiful parts we are catching this show um, from. Before we start, we always ask you to engage with us on our social media platforms. We are the Virtuous Woman Show on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. There's a lot of content on YouTube. If you've missed any of our shows, you are likely to find it on YouTube. So you can go there, subscribe and indulge. I'm sure it's going to be a blessing to you. Please sit back, relax, enjoy. This is a very sensitive, um, emotional, I don't know what else to describe this show as, but we are with a guest that is no new face to us. We are with Reverend Faith Bokonko and um, I, she's come that many times I can't even say her name without looking <laughs> <laughs> um, we are talking about femicide and the rise of the femicide cases in Kenya so if you're watching us on your TV screen please do let someone know um, that the show is on if you're watching online share this broadcast we'd love to have as many people watching as we can tonight Asante, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate thank this. Thank you for always coming as mm. we have called you. Thank you. Uh, for those who may not know you, you can introduce yourself. My name is Reverend Faith Nyokabi Bogonko and I am a born again preacher of the word of God and I, together with my husband, we pastor a church in Pipeline Nakuru, um, Deliverance Christian Church. And once again, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. Anytime. So, like I said, today we're talking about femicide. Mm -hmm. um, before we start, let's define femicide. Okay. It's, a, it's a big word. What does that mean? I think it means um, that my understanding, I don't know whether it's a dictionary meaning, yeah. <laughs> but my understanding is uh, the, uh, it's about ladies. Um, being killed, yeah. murdered, yeah. Uh, haphazardly, mysteriously. Mm. It's just about females being killed. Mm. Yes, yeah. I think. Absolutely. Mm. Now we've uh, in, um, we've seen quite a number of these cases on the mm. news, unfortunately. Um, but uh, my question, I think, is: Would it be that it's a rise in femicide cases, or has it always been there, just without the? Uh, attention it's getting from the media I think it's always been there okay. but there's also there's also a rise mm -hmm. a very high rise mm -hmm. um, I, I I don't really understand the reason mm -hmm. but the, it's it's not good yeah. it's high yeah. it's 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 high and remember when earlier days in the mid 80s when we started hearing about HIV by the time we go to the 90s they used to say if you're not infected you're affected and it seems as if that's where we are headed now mm -hmm. with the femicide mm -hmm. that if you're not directly affected mm -hmm. you are somehow involved somehow you know somebody or somebody that knows yeah. somebody mm -hmm. yeah it's really bad yeah. mm. how, how okay in accordance to your purview or how you see it mm -hmm. do you think it's a widespread issue in the, in, the, in the nation or it's just a Nairobi issue or a whatever issue? How widespread is it in the nation? I think it's it's getting farther mm -hmm. because we've had cases, of, we've had of Nakuru, we've had of uh, Eldoret, mm -hmm. We've heard of Mombasa. I think it's widespread. Mm. It's, but of course, a lot of the focus, because again, of the media attention, a lot of it is happening where we get a lot of information from yeah. Nairobi yeah. because it's fast flowing. Yeah. But uh, I think it is, I don't know if it's countrywide, but it is fast spread. It's fast spread. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've seen a lot of this online. Uh, very many influencers are now rising and speaking about the issue. Mm -hmm. uh, many people are talking and uh, voicing their opinions, men and women, mm -hmm. about the issue. And I think one of the major uh, statements I've heard across the board is women are being blamed for being killed. Mm -hmm. So the same issue when it comes to being raped. Mm -hmm. The woman is being blamed. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. that would not have happened to you. What is your take on this? It is so unfortunate, very, very unfortunate that um, women are blamed mm. even when they cannot, they are not supposed to take the blame because um, 
take for example when when a 30 year old man enters the house of a 90 year old grandmother and rapes her alikuwa amevaa nini you know uh, it's just wrong because at the end of the day the person to blame is the devil yeah. the devil has uh, this is my take the enemy has always wanted to make sure there is no generation mm. there is no next generation mm-hmm. uh, i i don't know how far fetched my theory is yeah. but there's been a lot of attack yeah. on the boy child mm-hmm. The boy child if if you would talk to any medic they will tell you that the fatality rate of the boy child is very high okay. from birth. Okay. A boy child does not survive as easily as a girl child. Yeah. And then when they survive that then you go again to the to look at even David when he wants to kill uh, the the family of of Abigail's husband. He says if there is any man standing that one i will kill whenever there is war the men go to the war front it's the men it's always the men and then you we came along to a place where now the girl became became so empowered mm-hmm. the boy child was not very empowered turned to drugs there are so many people so many young people that the males that are into drugs and 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 alcoholism yeah. And so the girl has continued being empowered and now the focus of the enemy now is on this empowered mm. girl child. I have not heard of any case of of uh, maybe a manual worker mm-hmm. that has gone through this femicide. It's the brainiac, it's the girl with a brain, it's the girl that 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 has a future that is bright, that knows where she's going. And together with the way the enemy has thrown in the darts of uh, homosexuality and lesbianism and all this LGBTQ RST, you know the whole yeah, 10 yeah, yards, the, the whole alphabet is the same way he's using this to stop a generation, yeah. to stop a godly generation. And so our girls are being blamed even when it is not their fault. It there of course there is a blame uh, at at one point for you not making a right choice. Yeah. But this is not the time to lay blame. Yeah. It's the time to make sure that we are taking care of our girls. Yeah. W- what do we do about it? How do we protect our girls? This thing is real and pointing fingers is not a solution. Two wrongs don't make a right. So how do we solve this? That's where we should be at right now. I would believe. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a really good point you've made that pointing fingers is not the solution right mm-hmm. now. We need to get to the bottom of this. Yes. And I've had you bring in the spiritual aspect. Mm-hmm. Of, you know, this is an a, a dart of the enemy, one of the darts of the enemy mm-hmm. in our generation mm-hmm. in our time that he has thrown into into the mix. Yeah. Um so would you say that would be the root cause of this issue? Yes, I would. Yes, I would definitely say the root cause is the enemy because, you know, um, in January, mm-hmm. believers are fasting mm-hmm. and praying and seeking yeah. the face of God. And then they put all their armor down mm-hmm. and they go around the rest of the year. But the enemy is still roaring, mm-hmm. seeking whom he is going to devour. He is still on the prowl. He is still seeking and hunting. And so this is just one of his ploys. Mm-hmm. And so we need to be spiritually alert that this is the enemy's attack. Uh apart from that I believe we should take responsibility mm-hmm. on how we 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 take care of our girl child. Mm-hmm. I think she being a very strong girl, very opinionated, knowing what she wants, going, she's a go-getter. I think at the same time we Waswahili walisema asiyefunzwa na mamae hufunzwa na ulimwengu we should not i think we have abjugated so many of our responsibilities tumeacha watoto wamelelewa na house girl we are very busy looking for this elusive shilling we are busy you know working from dusk to dawn uh yeah dawn to yeah, dusk dawn to dusk <laughs> Don't and both yeah good. sure yeah. but we are so busy trying to make ends meet mm-hmm. uh, keeping up with the jonesses that we have left our responsibilities to our house managers yeah. and the teachers yeah. so, remember in 2020 when when the count, country went through a lockdown 
Many parents didn't know what to do with yeah, their kids. They were, they were like, huyu sasa tutafanya nini? Hata huyu mtoto. They were <laughs> so confused because we have never taken real responsibility of our children. What are they eating? What are they watching? Who are they hanging around with? Who do they stay wow. with? How much time do they spend with this person? Who is this person? Who is their father? Who is their great great grandfather? What's their DNA? Yeah. Are they are they believers? Mm-hmm. What's their faith? What have they been exposed to yeah. because these things are the sum total of this child we are bringing up and then if we've not taught them to make choices yeah what are able to know people yeah. and and unfortunately um we cannot 100% blame the devil mm-hmm. we take responsibility as well yeah. Yeah. I've heard this uh, among the things I've heard about among uh, in social media that has been going around concerning mm-hmm. this issue mm-hmm. is don't tell something along this lines I'm paraphrasing but mm-hmm. the essence of it is that don't tell your girls not to go outside at night tell mm-hmm. your boys not to hurt them so in other words <laughs> don't like the people who are going against the girls make sure they are aware that that's not something they should be doing mm-hmm. what's your take on that should we be taking a more active role with the men um concerning the issue i think we should take care of our children yeah. whether male or female mm-hmm. there shouldn't be a preference in in this or that mm-hmm. uh, I, the swahili word that comes to mind is maadili mm-hmm. um we 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 have to make sure that we are bringing up our children in the right way yeah. some of these kids have been killed at, during the day yeah. it's not si mambo na giza it's not about the darkness mm-hmm. basically like day and night yeah. it's about the darkness from hell yeah. and so we need to if my son is the one murdering there is the problem mm-hmm. um if my daughter is being lured what's making her being lured what 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 has attracted her mm-hmm. and i think a lot of this is happening because of social media yeah any case you follow down the trail it falls down back social to media. social media and online dating mm. and dating apps um we we have a culture of uh, of young people Santa sema jira ni baki nimeokoka wenye wajuku katiana na kukatiwa vijana wana mistari yani it's it's very unfortunate that you know a good old date where you meet for coffee um where you get introduced or you introduce each other get to know each other then the first date i would believe would be like a cup of coffee mm-hmm. sasa hii date ya kwanza kwa apartment kwa, kwa Airbnb. Airbnb. how is I that make that? sense <laughs> ulikuwa unataka <laughs> what, what do you think you are going to do mm-hmm. there One plus one is not adding up because we with this the this this culture of everything has to be done so fast mm. instant instant and then instant gratification the last of the flesh mm. they so the, our young people are not both male and yeah. female have lost the value of relationship yeah. of courtship mm. of of just falling in love yeah. And the same social media is throwing vibes, negative vibes on marriage, you know, and submission and every biblical concept has been trashed. So if it's sexual gratification, we meet and that's it. Yeah. And then we go to the next, next one. Person. And people gladly celebrate body counts. Yeah. Can you imagine? Gladly. How is that a thing? Hata mtu ha blush. Yeah. What's your body count? Alafu anaanza. And then I'm thinking oh my goodness we have come we are so off so far but God is so gracious he is still a loving God and yeah. he loves us in spite of ourselves so I believe social media has played a major major part in yeah. this uh loneliness um lack of uh um of just I have seen it a lot outside the country yeah. especially in the western culture where 
people are busy making the dollar going to school and doing this so there's no social life yeah. so you go type up check out whether there's somebody on your social media and then you link up you hook up and then you continue and that thing is infiltrating our country yeah. because we we don't have people are not socializing yeah. we, we, just, we just like my family will not meet with your family for nyamachoma mm -hmm. Uh, we are busy yeah. so I remember when we were crossing over in church I told them this year let's not just say Mazee tutakunyo ile chai iyo chai tutakunyo and it's as if it's a threat yeah. it's it's no longer <laughs> something that we, we purposely deliberately yeah. choose to sit down and socialize yeah. because in this socializing that's when our kids will meet mm. and they will interact and they will get to know a friend of a friend of a yeah. friend and even marriage what wana kimbia officially kwa serikali and yet before there would be the counseling in the church we as pastors would yeah. do counseling yeah. then the families would meet mm. say before you know it they have two kids you know, the, world, kwa the world is now a global it's one village yes. so it's very easy for any culture to infiltrate another culture very so true i hear what you're saying we're gonna mm. go on a very short break we'll be right back please don't go anywhere after this break we'll be right back